Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction, System Integration and Architecture Series. Today is our lecture number 7. Let's proceed to our topic for today. So our topic is System Integration Technologies. System Integration Technologies in terms of devices. Invisible but indispensable packaging of electronic system has the central task of consolidating different components to form a system. The wide-ranging demands placed on this technology can be summarized in four main trends. First, customer-specific solution is small and medium batch sizes at low manufacturing costs. Second, greater functionality for the incorporating system. Third, improved system reliability. Fourth, energy efficiency and reduction of energy requirements. And we have here in the figure about technologies in the devices. So the idea, we have the design, equipment, and materials, components, packaging, reliability, plus test, quality assurance, and qualification. And that results to the product. Now we have also the enterprise application, which is considered to be in a software technology. A big business application are complex, scalable, distributed, component-based, and mission-critical across corporate networks, intranets, or the internet, are data-centric, user-friendly, must meet stringent requirements for security, administration, and maintenance, and are highly complex system. So you will notice the examples of enterprise application. So we have SAP, Fresh Service, Microsoft Dynamic, Link, C, Skype, PeopleSoft, DMC, Oracle, Info, MySQL, SQL Server, Orange, HRM, Javite, Bamboo, HR, Office. As I mentioned in our lecture in the first topic, Freshdesk. So we have Sales and Dynamics, CRM, Success Factors, Managed Engine. So those are all enterprises. Now EAI, Enterprise Application Integration, is related to middleware technologies, intercommunication between enterprise application, EA, such as customer relation management, CRM, supply chain management, SCM, and business intelligence. Why EAI? Sharing of processes and data among different applications in an enterprise to simplify and automate business processes without applying excessive application or data structure changes. As you will notice, we have here the enterprise to minimize the infrastructure and the changes in the company. Now, EAI benefits system interconnectivity. Connect people, processes, system, and technologies within your enterprise ecosystem. Improve productivity throughout the company. Enable communication across differing systems to permit everyone access to information they need anytime. The right information when you need it. Provide accurate data regardless of what system you are deploying. Next is real-time updates. Ensure that you are always up to date on your business needs with real-time updates. Coordinate business processes. Automate business process further improving productivity across your company with system integration across your enterprise. Your business can move forward, stay agile, and continue to innovate. Next is point-to-point, -point, which is lightweight solution suited to integrate few applications, create a mesh network. Next is challenges, tightly coupled, things won't stay lightweight for long, unmanageable, brittle, do not meet changing business and technology demand. Now we have here the integration spaghetti. Connectivity gets complex. Upgrade, replace application, nearly impossible. Broker model. A broker is software that sits between the application being integrated, interacting with all of them. Provides all message, transformation, routing, and any other inter-application functionality. Communication between application must flow through the broker. Broker maintain data concurrency of the entire network. Advantages of broker. Loose coupling between application, application communicates asynchronously, less repetitive configuration. Next is challenges in a broker. Single point of failure, bottleneck for message under heavy load, implementation is heavyweight. 
So we have here a figure of Enterprise Service Pass. Next, we have Solution Landscape. Next, we have the BizTalk Server. This is their architecture or the system integration architecture. Next, so we have here the e-commerce portal, which is also a system integration. So we have the user, supplier, group customer, management, call center. Next, we have the Jet Architecture, event-driven microservices. This is their system integration architecture. So they use also bus line topology here or bus management. Okay, system integration and architecture. Red 2008, tech savvy business user. They have benefit, business got the job done, low cost, challenges, zero zeros of access Excel solution, which has been on the picture. I can solve the problem with a macro in Excel. Specifically, access as a database and Excel as a programming software. Now across organization, security and data vulnerability solutions been around for decades in some organization, complex business magic logic in, ma in macros. Next we have the cloud SaaS era. The benefits, SaaS cloud enable application platform, marketplace add-ons, more complex solution, scalable to more users, Challenges, supercharged stealth IT, silo application limit functionality, often identity challenges, integration often required. As an example of cloud SaaS, we have Excel, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, Access, QuickBase, Power, Yamnar, Office 365, Salesforce. System integration under API, IPaaS era, Citizen Integrator. So we have here the API. Okay, I can connect the API to Salesforce. So 365 Microsoft Dynamic. Benefits, API simplifies integration, business user can call API, integration solution, challenges, not every organization asset is API capable. That is true even in IT. What technical depth is being created under the radar? Next we have the example of integration. Okay, security program like Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, Application Platform, App Service, SQL Database, Storage, so Document DB, Application Performance Management, Application Insight, Operation Insight, Development, we have the Visual Studio under Development in the integration. So if you are finished with the application, it goes to the application platform. If you are using only the Visual Studio, it is only the development environment application. Next, we have Cortana Analytics Suite, but we are not using Cortana because uh, it's used for spying by Microsoft. So we need to segregate this. Management and governance, it is also included because uh, the automation is directly for the government which we are doing next example of system integration architecture so we have here so messaging orchestration IOT citizen integrator BAM analytics hybrid connectivity API and EAI or ETL that's all for today thank you for watching and good luck congratulations you successfully finished our lecture number seven